to bring you a tip that'll be really helpful for you Lightroom users. So many Lightroom users love the aspects that Lightroom gives you for adjusting, but also want to run a few actions at the end. So this is a fantastic time saver for you. I'm gonna show you how to add actions into a droplet, which will then be linked to your Lightroom so that once you export a photo, it will automatically open up into Photoshop and run that action for you. Time saving is so important in editing because there are generally a lot of photos that you're doing. So making these quick step-by-step -step solutions to saving you that time is really important for your business. So what you do is open up Photoshop. When you're in Photoshop, you go up to the top and click on File. You come into Automate and you Create Droplet. When you're in the Create Droplet, the first portion is Save Droplet In. This is where you want to save the actions. I suggest that you make a folder. I have one that's called PS to LR. You're going to save it by the name of the action. So for this one, we're going to do Sophisticated Matt from the Magical Light Set. So we type in the name and click Save. Once you do that, it's going to say which set. This is pulling from your Actions panel. So the Action Set has to be in there. Click the Action Set and the name of the action that you want. That's all you have to do and click OK. It's going to make a droplet. The droplet is what you will use in Lightroom and it will tell the system once it exports to play this action. You're all set in Photoshop. You, do, you only need to do this step one time, by the way. Now let's go into Lightroom. You're going to click on File again, and you're going to click on Export. What you do is this is the Export fields where you will save images. You need to bring in those new droplets you made. The way that you do that is scrolling to the very bottom, click on After Export, go to Export Actions folder now. This is going to open up the Export Actions folder from Lightroom, allowing you to be able to drop in the droplets that you made from Photoshop. So we have two folders open, one that is from Lightroom that just opened on its own when we click that, which is the Export Actions folder, and then also I have opened the PS to Lightroom folder that I made. You would select all the droplets that you've made and drag them over and into the Export Actions. Once you're done with that, you can close them both up and you will find them then listed here in the folder. So for this photograph, I'm going to say now that we have the two in there, that I would like sophisticated matte to be ran on anything I export. The reason that this is helpful for you is because it takes steps away. One, you don't have to open it yourself in Photoshop. It's going to do that for you automatically. Two, you do not have to play the action on the photograph because it's going to do that for you. So let's click export and we'll show you how it works. It's just telling me that I have a duplicate photo already because we've done this. So it is going to pull it up into Photoshop. You can actually open up your Photoshop and watch it start to happen once it's done. So it's opening up the file and now it's running. You can see I have a few things happening. It's running all of the stuff, all of the layers that the action takes. As you can see, it's happening here. So I did not have to do that myself. The system dragged it into Photoshop after it exported it and is now placing all the layers of sophisticated matte onto the photograph. This helps a Lightroom user because they have the ability to adjust exposure exactly how they want it, but then also run particular actions to get the look that they want. 
Okay, so we're all set. The action is ran on the photograph and we're all finished. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you Lightroom users.